This seven-story giant boulder has attracted lots of people over the years. Geologically speaking, Giant Rock, located in California's Mojave Desert, is roughly seven stories high and covers almost 6,000 square feet. Some say that it is the largest freestanding boulder in the world. While the rock has been a Native American spiritual site for thousands of years, the modern backstory of the boulder begins in the 1930s. You see, there was a German immigrant and miner named Frank Kritzer, and he dug out a 400 square foot home for himself directly beneath the rock. Some locals thought he was crazy, but since he was known to point his shotgun at those who approached his underground home, most people just left him alone. Kritzer was also a radio enthusiast, and it is said that he set up a radio antenna on top of the rock for better reception. Unfortunately, Kritzer's German origin and a radio antenna led to suspicions of his being a spy during World War II, and a police raid was made on his cavern. While the exact cause of Kritzer's death is still unknown, legend holds that when authorities attempted to extricate him by shooting tear gas canisters into the cave, one accidentally ignited a small store of explosives and blew Kritzer to smithereens. As it turns out, Kritzer was not a spy, he was simply an eccentric who wanted to be left alone to live quite literally under a rock. So let's recap this. The setting is the World War II era. The guy living under this rock is a German and he's living secluded and runs people off at gunpoint and there's a radio antenna on top of the rock. Let me ask you, how else was that going to end? Listen, understanding what happened to Kritzer is important for us as leaders. When you are responsible for an organization, you have an obligation to communicate and to communicate frequently. Because in silence, speculation runs rampant. That's important. Let me say that again. In silence, speculation runs rampant. If you're not communicating, people will see your actions and immediately make assumptions based on their biases. Any evidence that supports their bias will be considered proof. And then you are in for a lot of trouble as a leader. All the communication after that point is meaningless. Hey, remember, Communicate early, communicate often, and lead your organization in a way that instills trust in your people.